Okay, hey everybody, this is Karen Nicole. Yeah, I look terrible. I've been in the car all day long, headed to Yuma for uh, Yumacon. And they, I'm traveling with some of my comic buddies and they put us up in the Bob Hope suite. So we've got like a fold out couch and a bed and I'm gonna move this down here so you can see. Look. They made the pillows like swans. And, and check this out. I pulled this off because I thought it was cool. This is the way that the toilet paper was put into the thing. So that was pretty cool. We also have this couch. Got a microwave. Got a bedroom over there. Got Cloverfield going on. So they gave us this lovely gift basket. So I'm here with Kid Ever and Derek McFarland. Look them up on social medias. And we're going to open this. Are we ready? Uh, yeah. All right. So we've got all the crinkly cellophane and this bow that Kid Ever is going to wear all weekend. It's very pretty. And um, his booth is actually right next to mine if you're in the Yuma area. Okay. So we're going to start with the card. And it says, Dear Kid Ever, I hate you and think you <laughs> suck. It was this Kid yes. Ever, AC, Power Girl, Karen Nicole, and Derek McFarland. Thank you for being part of YumaCon 2019. We hope you have a great time. Yuma Art Center staff. Oh, they even have their own. This is nice paper. This is not cheap. Like Kid Ever's mom. <laughs> um, got this bow that just oh. fell apart. I know, I just ruined it. It didn't want to come up. I didn't know what to do. All right, so we've got some t-shirts. What? Boop, boop. I get the one. All right, we've got a medium. And we've got a large. And we've got another large. Large has got to be yours. Large has got to be yours. Oh, medium has got to be mine. Um, another thing we have, we have Russell Stover's Lemon Pucker, Lemon Candy with a Sour Kick. Hmm. Yeah, it's a And blah, 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 blah. Milk powder. That's all right. Someone else can enjoy this. Oh, we got a button. Yumicon button. And we've got fruit snacks. Brody snacks. Artificially flavored. Uh, they just like hooked us up for the weekend, huh? Uh, Nature Valley granola bars. Some of those guys in there. Another button. We each get a button, I'm thinking. Three buttons, three people. We've got Fritos. We've got Cheetos. We've got Lay's Classics. We got stickers. Oval stickers. And... Oval stickers. <laughs> I thought it was round. I thought it was round. Okay, we also have a bunch of candy. <laughs> so here we go. Twizzlers, Reese's. Awesome. And then this basket that I'm keeping. Because I want the basket. So there we go. We've got that unboxing. Thank you, Yuma Khan. And if you are interested in having me or any of these other fine comedians out at your show or event... You can message me here on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Usually I look better than this. I'm like, ah! Um, also, terrible lighting. Those are a few more things to open. So while I'm here, you get to watch me attempt to open this bag. Is it always... Oh, okay, that one's not terrible. Oh, hey, that's got a thing for opening. Oh, I just ordered a bunch of new underwear. <laughs> That's cool. Can I see you in there? I'm sure you will. Um, all right. Oh, I hate that. I'm always afraid I open these and then they like, and then it rips. It's like, they don't give me a chance to open it. So we'd love to hear from you. Okay, it's a thank you card. I don't even know what's in here. And there's nothing in here. <laughs> um, that's so weird. Thank you for purchase of our product. We are glad to invite you to post a product review. What? 
they want me to scan this barcode. Oh. So I scan this barcode and I guess I review something and they're going to send me a $10 gift card. Because, like, there's nothing in here. I don't know what to do. There's the rest of it. But, yeah. Like, why would they put that in an envelope? That's weird. All right. One more package. Another one of these guys. I got to say, I prefer the bubble wrap one. You see me open a few things lately, and it's like that weird styrofoam crap inside there, and those suck. Um, okay, so I was waiting for this one. This is bigger than I thought. That's what, that's what she said. Uh, um, kid ever's over there thinking he's funny when we're all the same funny. We're all the same funny. <laughs> um, I can actually smell this through here. This is a natural deodorant. It's grapefruit and lavender. It's Well, it definitely does not smell like grapefruit and lavender. It smells kind of different, but um, the writing is super, super small. It's supposed to be all natural. And so if I don't wake up itching my armpits in the morning, then I think I'm good. So we're going to see how that goes. I can't read any of this. See, look. I don't even think that's a word. That's just a line in the middle of the thing making you think that you can't see. So, um, 100% natural oils. Well, I'm going to try that and see how that goes. And uh, follow me on Amazon and you can see what I say about all of these products as well. So... Um, I've been trying to do a foodie Friday, but my food's not ready yet. Um, and it's like some Asian thing that I found. Oh, it is ready. And that's orange juice with Icelandic vodka. Do you want it? Why? I already got some. No, you want your... Okay, so. This is the... New variety Taipei noodles, vegetable lo mein. The noodles look bigger on the box. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say they're pretty cheap, but for $3. You know, it's your basics. It's got carrots and stuff in there. 10 grams of protein, 310 calories, meatless. Low main noodles and vegetables and a savory sauce. Kind of like clumped up like when your ramen doesn't get enough water in it. Mm -hmm. Were you supposed to put water in this or? Nope. Nope, you just put it in the microwave? You just have to keep stirring it. I stirred it a little bit. Oh, okay. great. I think this tastes a lot like cheap ramen. Um, I'd have to agree with you. Oh, that have you tasted it. It looks like you. It smells like crap. It, it smells, smells terrible. Like it smells awful. If I wasn't driving, I would have done the Burger King Impossible Whopper with the pretzel bun. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not into the Impossible Whopper, get the pretzel bun. That was, like, super good. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, that pretzel bun was amazing. Totally Thing is, they don't really put mustard on your, on your burger, and mustard goes with pretzels. Oh, very bad. Mm -hmm. So I put mustard on mine. Oh my gosh, it's so remarkable. Oh when am I supposed to talk? When it's not full? Am I supposed to wait? Did somebody say that? No, no one's talking to me. It's a video. <laughs> I thought you were going live. Look how little roasted spinach is on these. There's like one spinach leaf per piece. Yeah, you're lucky they even have roasted spinach at your hot. Do you want some? There was a time when that was not even a thing. No. Peppers. Are you cold? Are you guys cold? Next time he's no, gonna I order kale, like a hippie. Oh, I turned it on high. So, um, so my calendar is currently at nine ninety seven hundred even. Last I checked. So. At 10, 300 more dollars, and that opens up the patch. 
So the sooner you order, I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm waiting for payday. So it doesn't matter because they don't pull money out of your account until the end anyway. And the sooner we get that information in of how much we're going to need, the sooner I can order those patches. And they are going to take time to produce and ship. So the sooner you order, the sooner you get your stuff. And I'm really excited about that. They're going to be embroidered around the edges, just kind of, you know, just like normal patches you would put on your bag or your uh, backpack or your jacket. Um, I also want to let you know, so if you order the bare minimum, say, you know, you're like, oh, I'm kind of having some financial trouble. Bare, bare minimum. One calendar, basic cover is $25. You're going to get the 13 month calendar. Each month has two photos on it, and you're also going to get the four collector's cards in hollow foil, because that's been upgraded. You're also going to get the um, five by seven postcard refrigerator magnet calendar. So it's the one where it's got the picture, and then it's got like all the months for 2019 or 2020. And then you're also going to get the hollow foil sticker. If you are a Patreon member at any level, you're going to get the Patreon badge as well. That's a physical badge that can go on your lanyard. And if you, so there's that. And then you're also going to get the 8x10 uh, Gatsby style Flapper Girl cosplay print. The patch if we hit 10,000. Mm. And the mini book. I just finished ordering, producing and ordering the eight page cosplay inspirational message mini book. So it's a little booklet that folds up like accordion style and it has eight different cosplays and an inspirational quote on each page. So I need to get some sleep and some water so that I can go to Yumacon tomorrow. I have a panel called How to Be a Pro Cosplayer where I teach all the ins and outs and how to do your taxes and all that kind of boring stuff um, that people need to know if they're going to get into any kind of art business. And then I'm also judging the costume contest and I'm also doing the comedy show. It's a busy day. It's a one day con. So, thank you, Yumacon. I will tag them in this video as well. I'll also tag Derek Montgomery and Kate Ever. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, the Taipei noodles also come in other flavors. It was about $3 for this kind of bucket. So um, it's not bad. It's not great. Um, so there we go. Thanks again. Love you 3000.